don't forget guys like and subscribe for more content thank you for watching it helps me out massively hope you guys enjoy the video Okay, yeah, morning, good evening, or good night, depending on what time you're watching, nerds. Hey, Snapen here, and it's time for the newest video. What is up, Self Squad? How's everyone doing tonight? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, I am here to talk about the formation systems and the airplane and helicopter. So, what should a low tier spender or free to play player be focusing on? Personally, like, I know everyone likes their stats and everything, but I personally would be focusing on the formation system because that makes the rally that much stronger. Now, obviously, the airplane and helicopter are good for solo fights, will be good for water tanks and stuff like that. But I'm not going to lie, if, if you don't spend anything at all, then obviously you're, you'll be more than likely considered a filler. But no offense, but that's what you would be. Now, um, when it comes to being a filler, you're wanting to be focusing on things which will help the rally. Obviously, your plasma troops, your behemoth, and your formation systems. Your airplane and hel helicopter do not apply in this situation so much. Now, I know you're going to say attack amplifier when it comes to joiners, but you probably have two decent-sized joiners anyway, which can have that ability on. And it only applies with two of them. So, obviously, as a joiner, your main focus would be on this out of the three. Now, my personal preference is I will try and make all of these five lower than the ones before. So, if these ones are 10, these ones will be 15, these ones will be 20. Now, uh, you may be saying, but aren't some of them better than others? Yes, technically, some of them will do slightly better than others. But... Let's show you this for example. Let's get this one to eight, from 18 to 19. It costs 137. Now if you go back to this one to get it from 19 to 20, it costs 78. It's pretty much half the price to get it for the one before. Now, uh, you may be going, okay, so why don't you just focus a specific skill? The price difference on the levels is ridiculous. So 18 to 19 is 137. Now, 11 to 12 is 42. You could do three upgrades on the other ones and doing one upgrade on that one. So personally, I like to balance it. Now, you may be curious on which ones are more important to focus on. Now, the middle skills here are a little bit more expensive, but these ones are, for instance, slightly better because these will be giving the uh, reduction for the enemy behemoths and stuff like that. So these ones are really better to focus. First, I'd obviously do the center one. Then I would go along the sides, getting those up one by one. Obviously, uh, anything which is behemoth for aircraft is usually stronger than the other ones or heroes. But when it comes to when it asks you about what troops to focus on, as you already know, anything which protects inventory is better than protecting hunters. Um, anything which increases hunter damage is better than increasing inventory damage, just like normal. So they all have various skills which you'll be wanting to try to make in that sort of way. Now, um, obviously, at this point, as you can see, I've got all these 10, but I haven't even unlocked this. As soon as I unlock this, I'll get all this to 5, so it's 5 lower, and I'll just be doing that as I go along. That's my personal opinion on this. Now, as I said, I would prefer joiners to be focusing this than the helicopter, uh, helicraft or helicopter. So, for instance, when it comes to the uh, circuit repair, which is on at the moment, obviously a lot of them are getting these pearls. If they've already got the behemoth stuff or the red crystals, then and they're trying to think if they should be getting the custom formations or the aircraft customs, I personally would prefer them to get this to make the rally stronger. Obviously, people can go for their helicopter or aircraft if they're wanting to. Now, I'm going to also go over which ones of these you should be focusing on. Now, of course, when the airplane first comes out, you haven't got the formations or helicopter. So I'd just be putting what you can into the aircraft, leveling it up slowly. Now, when you're picking what skills, I would be going inventory uh, health, hunter lethality, Rider Lethality, Inventory Lethality, then uh, Rider Health, then Hunter Health, because obviously Riders get hit before the Hunters. So I would be going round in that order, and I would be getting them to the max. So getting them to 20, if it's 20 at the max, then all round to 20 upgrade. 
then 40 or whatever number it is. But when it gets to the end, I would only get it to 65 because the 65 to 70 is a massive jump on price. So obviously I'd cut it off at the 65 and get all of them round to 65, except the health for the riders and hunters. I'd leave those down at 50. Then I'd go back to the inventory health to 70 and go round to 70 and then I'd get the rider and riders to 70 and the hunters to 70 for the healths. But they, as soon as that helicopter comes out, no matter how far you've pushed this, I would just quit on this. The price and the value for the helicopter is so much cheaper to level up than the aircraft and gives you such better stats. I would just move straight over to the helicopter and focus on that. And I would do the exact same thing. I'd cut off at 115, five away from max, because the last five levels is so much more expensive than any of the other levels. So as soon as this gets to 115, I would cut off and go back round. Once you get up to doing the uh, rider health, I would ignore that and go back to getting the inventory health. Because as I said, rider health and hunter health, I don't care too much about. Now, that is my opinion on how I would obviously level this out. As soon as the formation system comes out, I would pretty much ignore the helicopter just stick to whatever stats you got there. Put whatever extra you have into the helicopter over the airplane and uh, start pushing into the formation systems. Obviously, if this is all 115 at this point and your airplane is, uh, let's say, 20, then you can consider leveling it up to, say, 40 or 50. But I definitely would be focusing this over getting anything past 50 on the airplane because this is so much cheaper and better stats uh, on the overall. Okay, guys, I hope this helped you on what you're going to be deciding on what to do when it comes to uh, all of this. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Keep kicking ass like normal. Much love to you all, and have a good night, guys. Peace. Oh, one last thing, quick stealth module. So, obviously, this is where you just dump all your excess stuff in. Only do this if you're maxed out, so for rally leads. And, as I said, the, the stats this gives is probably the least out of all four of them, and it costs so much to put into it. So, I would not worry about this. I'd only dump in if you are maxed on obviously the other stuff or you have a load of excess of certain materials okay guys thanks for watching